Lego has been on a roll with the food truck sets they've been bringing out lately. This is actually my second one, the first one being the penguin slush van, which I thought was pretty cool. And now we have this burger van. Does it fry or is it dry? Let's take a look. The burger van set number 60404 is one of several food truck sets that Lego has brought out in recent years. This set includes the van itself, two minifigures and various accessories for the minifigures included. This set would look great in any Lego city that you're building maybe as part of a like food carpet with some seating around the truck if you wanted to buy the extra parts to do that the truck itself though looks like a very old school truck which i actually really like along with a flame paint job which is awesome to see to the back of the truck we have a food kiosk part which is in the shape of a burger and did make me quite hungry when i built it i have to say i love lego creativity with this specific set the price of this set is usually 17.99 but but I managed to get it for £14 from game in the UK. I don't see the set go much lower than £14, so I'd say you'd be safe buying this set at that price. For the box art of this set, we see the truck parked up on the side of a road with the city in the background with the minifigures in front of the truck. With the way the minifigures are posed, it looks like the customer forgot to put ketchup on his burger. Like she's running with the ketchup bottle, but he's like all excited with his burger. But to be honest, in my opinion, ketchup is overrated. Anyway, I said what I said. On the back of the box, we get more of a look at the burger truck and we get a look at the kiosk part when it's off the truck. So you get the option of having it on the back like it was on the front of the box or on the ground like it is on the back here. In the top right corner, we get another look at the set from the back of the truck, showing a door that the minifigures can use to get into the back of the truck. Surprisingly, the side of the box doesn't show the interior or any other features which are part of this set and we'll look at later on. So opening up the box of this set, inside we find two paper bags full of parts, no sticker sheet as surprisingly there's no stickers for this set, and two instruction books, one for the truck and one for the kiosk part that goes on the back. Once you've built it, this is what it looks like. As I expected, I absolutely love this little truck. The truck looks very retro looking and would be the kind of truck that a new food truck business would probably use in real life. Along with the burger shaped food kiosk that also has the one by one round plates on top to represent sesame seeds on the bun which i thought was a nice little detail the minifigure who owns and operates this burger truck can also fit inside the driving cab quite comfortably even with their hat on which is nice to see and something i was worried about but the burger truck side on the side does close nice and flush to the side of the kiosk if it didn't that would have definitely bugged me finally i am so glad that there wasn't any stickers in this set in fact all of these parts are printed which is really cool to see and the prints themselves are of good quality. The minifigures in this set whilst aren't anything special there is one inclusion in this set that has been the talk of the town and that's the fact that one of the minifigures actually has a hearing aid. Lego is all about inclusivity and this inclusion is fantastic to see. The minifigures themselves feature printing on the front and back of their torsos. Both of them also have dual molded headpieces as well. The kiosk worker's headpiece being dual molded to achieve the look of her hair coming through the back of her hat and the customer's headpiece being dual molded for the inclusion of the hearing aid. They both have an accessory they come with too. The customer minifigure again this little burger build which is quite cute but sadly there's only enough parts to build one of these. It would be cool to have others and to be honest I might order the parts to do that. And for the kiosk worker she gets a fork to flip those burgers. Essentially this Lego set in my eyes is a must have for Lego City builders or fans of Lego City sets in general. The build itself used some elements in an interesting way to achieve what it was going for and the burger design is a mouth-watering decision by lego which gives this truck a lot of charm and me a lot of hunger the minifigures aren't fantastic but with dual molded headpieces and accessories for each figure they are quite good for a lego city set 17 pounds and 99 pence for this set is a little steep but is right where it should be with lego's pricing and i would have still been happy to pay that amount however saving money even if it's four pounds is always worth it i could probably get a nice burger with that to be fair so what do you guys think of this burger van set do you agree with what i've said in this video leave a comment below and tell me what you think of this set and i'll see you guys in the next video